Hi everyone, welcome to Statistics Voice on YouTube channel. Today we will discuss topic How to draw a multiple line graph in Microsoft Excel software. The data already entered in the Excel sheet. Uh, today the data view for the major nutrient level in agriculture soil. Uh, now the take for the three type of uh, major nutrient and the nitrogen, phosphorus and the potassium and the different soils, soil site. Five time replications. Now calculate for the mean value, select the mean cell, go to the insert menu, formulas and the auto sum, click the auto sum, go to the more functions, select for the average, the average and mean also the same, uh, click the ok button and the select the data, then click ok button, then uh, mean cell craft doing the potassium S by soil level. The automatically sum the calculated now the deleted the unwanted uh, sum and the standard division calculation the select the cell code the uh, in a formula menu and the auto sum click the more function and the stdv this is a standard deviation then click the ok button the select the raw data then click ok scrapping for the s5 potassium level in cell now the delta unwanted the function in the uh, standard deviation now the copy the mean data to the multiple line chart table first the nitrogen level potassium the mean value copy the paste to the paste right click the paste option for the values and the potassium level copy the mean value paste to potassium paste options then values and uh, third one the potassium value copy paste to the potassium value paste option in the values now the select the multiple line table go to the insert click the line chart and the uh, 2d line chart now the draw a line graph delete the central line right click the excel format option to fill the line no the no line ok under the close it now the select the uh, graph the first one the alignment for the nitrogen value select the nitrogen point and go to the format and the click the form section the open the new window then uh, change for the width and the change the color increase the width to ok now the uh, draw a sta standard division graph select ok now the select the nitrogen uh, line go to the format under the designing add excel elements error bar the standard deviation now the draw a standard deviation the select the standard deviation enter the value this is both side of the value under the fill the cap and the go to the last part the customize the specific the standard division value click the specific value please enter the positive value and the negative value same enter the standard division value the nitrogen uh, standard division value for this is the five side agriculture side uh, enter the 0 0.96 the enter the semicolon and the s2 0 0.83 enter the semicolon and third one the 0 0.56 semicolon the fourth one the 1.08 semicolon and the final last one the 0 0.52 then the end and the same the value in the negative delete the one and the same value entry for the 0 0.96 semicolon and the 0 0.83 next one the 0 0.56 
next one the 1.08 then last one for the 0 0.52 then click ok button the change for the standard deviation now the standard deviation increase the width 1.5 and the change color or any other color choose change it and the second one for the uh, pass press select the pass press line the same also enter the uh, mean value go to the designing uh, sorry same value for the standard division entry value decode to the uh, descending and they add the chart elements enter the error bar then standard division now the select the standard division column go to the last options for the victor error bar the same selection direction for the both and the end of the style they fill the cap uh, the, this is one non filling cap under the cap filling go to the final pass to customize the standard division value click the specific value now enter for the customized error bar the same uh, the same fast and negative value in the pass press value or standard division the delta the one and enter the pass press uh, standard division value 0 0.80 the high uh, semicolon the 0 0.54 and the semicolon 0 0.56 and the 0 0.68 the final semicolon enter the 0 0.35 the same value entry for the negative value 0 0.80 the semicolon 0 0.54 semicolon then 0 0.56 semicolon then 0 0.68 semicolon and the final one for the 0 0.35 then click ok button now they change the standard division stick width width and colors go to the uh, fill the buckets and the change color blue and increase with the 1.5 the change for the line the same blue color and the final one for the potassium lines select the potassium line then uh, go to the designing and the add chart element the error bar in the standard deviation select the sticks standard deviation stick the same also the direction both and the fill the cap go to the customized section the specific value enter the specific value for the uh, last in the potassium column the standard deviation enter the value 2.71 semicolon and 2.06 semicolon 1.25 semicolon 1.70 semicolon 1.57 and they enter the negative value the same 2.71 2.06 and 1.25 and the 1.70 and the final one for the sorry the negative value is the semicolon and the 1.57 the last value then click ok then now the change for the standard division the width and the color width increase 1.5 the color has changed any day new styles i choose the red color ok then now the change the mean line also the same the red color yeah select the graph is wonderful yeah this is for the multiple line graph in the standard division for now they change the font style in the home and the click the font style them i choose the time roman okay then increase the font 12 sorry 11 okay this is correct and another one for the style uh, site name they change the font font the time roman under the increase upon the 11 okay you choose the bold option the bold okay and the y axis value change the font time woman and 11 okay then also bold okay 
in the chart for the line graph and multiple lines graph okay then uh, this is graph the interpretation for the standard deviation in the excel microsoft sheet um, yeah standard division the standard division is a measure of how to descriptor in the data is a relation to the mean okay uh, the low standard deviation because the phosphorus yeah phosphorus is a low standard deviation the low standard deviation means the data are the clustered around in the mean and another one the high standard deviation because the high standard deviation the potassium the potassium is a high standard deviation they indicated the data more the splitted out because the potassium the raw data the splitted out in the raw data and the another one for the nitrogen the nitrogen average for the compared to the potassium under the uh, nitrogen value yeah there's a standard deviation mentioned for the splitted out and the close to close cluster around the data in the uh, raw data of the mean value thank you for watching this video thank you